okay so our next topic or a next chapter we are starting that is solid state okay so if we talk about the solid state what does it mean the solid which means the particle of solid are closely or tightly packed and making a definite shape okay so there are two type of solid one is crystalline solid and one is amorphous solid okay. if we talk about the crystalline solid which means that for example this is this is y axis z axis and x axis okay and this is the particle on the axis on the x axis y axis z axis okay so these particles are in the these particles are over in the axis so the particle or yeah particle over in axis which is x axis y axis and z axis that is called crystalline solid crystalline solid which means that they are having the high melting point as well as they are three dimensional three dimensional solid that can be two dimensional one dimensional if it if you're talking about exercises so that will be one dimension if you're talking about these both this is two dimensional if they are talking about these three so that is three dimensional we are considered that as a three dimensional two the particle are tightly arranged tightly arranged and they are having with geometry with geometry okay and they are regular particle which means they are having definite shape if we talk about amorphous this is opposite of the crystalline which means that if this is the x-axis y-axis z-axis so the particle are like this they are not an axis they are moving here there so which means this is a random placement okay they are having without dimensional you can say without dimensional if the if the thing is dimensional which means they will be having shape geometry everything as well as a regular shape the arrangement the geometry the shape but they are without dimensional and they are having random placement so it is clearly like that they will be having no dimensional means no geometry that is called amorphous amorphous solid okay a means not morphous means shape which means no shape so they are having no shape just because they are not dimensional and they are having no geometry no geometry okay they are irregular irregular they are having no shape no shape so this was the little bit introduction about the solid state and the types of solid that is crystalline solid and the amorphous solid so the if you talk about the crystalline solid so we are having the example you can take the example that will be diamond they you can see that you will like known about the diamond that is that is having a fixed geometry fixed geometry fixed melting point okay fixed geometry means the particle are arranged in the axis if you talk about amorphous you can take the example of the glass you can take the example of the you can see that the rubber so they are like they are not crystalline they can break easily but the diamond if you talk about so that can that cannot break easily and they will be having high melting point if you talk about this one so that will be having a low melting point and they are having fixed melting point they will be having not fixed melting point and less melting point so they are in no shape so you can take the example of the rubber glass okay because they are not tightly 
packed to with each other but if we talk about this one so they are tightly packed with each other so this was the introduction and in the types of solid so in the next video we will discuss about the properties of crystalline as well as amorphous solid